Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I wanted to show you an update that came out from Trimble for the Earthworks platform. It's version 2.16 or version 2.16. In version 2.16, they came out with an option, an upgrade, that allows you to use any of your different screens or views to actually make those text items, just like you have on the bottom of the ribbon right here. So when you touch and hold on any of these, you traditionally have the ability to change view. But if you go down to the very bottom of this, in this new version, there's a text grid option. So what you can do is in the text grid, you can touch and hold. Like it says there, no text item selected. You can touch and hold, and you can edit the text grid in two different spots. One is you can just add or replace or remove right here, or you can go to the bottom to the text grid like you would with the bottom ribbon. But if you add right here, just on the fly, you can go ahead and just search through any of these that you have and actually add one. And it depends on what machine you're on. I'll show you different options. This one's for an excavator. So maybe on the back side of that bucket right there, I want to actually add the ability to see the attachment angle. So what I can do is tap this one and it gives me the attachment angle. I can touch and hold on it and go in and actually replace that one and put attachment mat. So you can see on the bottom screen right here, I can actually see when the bucket's flat. Whatever options you want, you can change the different screens. So you can go and actually change the view to a single or a two, just like you would traditionally. And each one of these can be changed. So you can actually go in and actually put the text grid there. And the bigger the screens get, the more text items you can put in there. So this one, for example, if we go into edit text grid and go down to the bottom, there's none selected right now. So we can edit that. And obviously you've got the text at the very bottom of the screen that you would normally have. But if you had some really specific ones that you wanted, or with an excavator, you wanted to have the roll of the machine, or you wanted to have the rotation, whatever it is, maybe some of those off ones that you don't normally have at the bottom, or you actually want to see them you can go ahead and add these in and hit apply. Here's another example. If you were digging in 3D line work with the excavator, if you wanted to have specific cut fills on the bottom of your screen, elevations, um, traditionally I turn on offline, but what you can do is turn that up on the left side right there so you can have it right next to you. You can also go to your menu right here and change the light bars to where you don't have cut fill there. But you have the top light bar for the alignment. So as you move the machine, you can turn on whatever grids you want right here so you can have an offline angle so if we changed this one to plan view if you were trying to line up on pipe work right here you've got your green crosshairs off the bucket whatever your focus point is you can turn your light bar on the top you can offline to the right right there and then you can move the machine you can turn on the offline angle to make sure that you're on it just gives you more options other than your ribbon at the bottom right here with whatever machine you're running or any application, you can use those text grid items to put it on the screen that maybe catch your eye a little bit more. For example, with a grader, maybe if you're running dual GPS and you're finished grading, you've got an issue where your base station's pretty far away or you're getting some fluctuation throughout the day. You could put the GNSS vertical precision in here to kind of watch the fluctuation throughout the day or as you're finishing. If that number climbs too high, you may just need to stop for a sec and let some things regain. You can also change this one to a two view or a three view. You could go two view on this one and uh, leave that on 3D and just simply change this one down here to the bottom to text grid. So if you touch and hold on it there again, you can just add individually here or go to the text grid. So if you go to add, you can just do a single one real quick. Maybe at the bottom here, you want to actually see what your blade slope is. Or maybe you're running a grader and you're running it on UTS and you want to actually set some of the settings to know how far away you are from the total station or what your transitions are. You can do the same thing with that one and change one of these views to the text grid. Touch and hold on it and either edit it just by adding here or go to text items and edit here. If I were running a blade, I would probably want to come down to the bottom here and actually turn on a couple things. If I had a massless Greater, I may not need the mass lean, but if I'm running UTS, I can turn on mass lean for right now. Um, if I were running a sonic tracer, which we can in a minute, you can turn that distance on, you can turn on body cross or cross slope. And then if you came back up to the total station areas, you could do a UTS distance. Turn all these on, move them where you need them, and hit apply. So right now, as I run my grader around, I can actually see what my distance is from the UTS, 
I've got 213. I'm walk, working my way away from it. My cross slope's at 2% and my mass lean. I could use that to kind of remember exactly where it's at. Now, 76 degrees doesn't mean that it's actually truly sitting at that. It truly in the field, maybe straight up and down, and you'd have to find what that number is. So if you're kind of main fall, climbing a hill or falling a hill, you can you can see what that number is. The intent of this video is just to show you how you can, for each different machine, turn on text grids. At the top here for my combinations, if I wanted to go in here, I could run 3D on my left side and Sonic on the right if I had that scenario. So now I can go ahead and just bench my right side out. And now, as soon as I do that, that one text grid item that was kind of grayed out a minute ago, that uh, sonic distance right, gives me how far above the ground I am with that. So now I can turn my autos back on. And thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos on text grids.